What makes a pure substance pure? Is it because it looks clean? Because it tastes plain? Or is there something deeper? Something invisible that defines it? In this video, we're diving into pure substances and what they're really made of. Imagine you're known for your voice, your style, even your smile. These little things, they make you uniquely you. You don't randomly wake up with a new identity, right? Well, in science, some materials have an identity too. We call them pure substances made of just one kind of building block. No surprises, no mix-ups. And that's what makes them stand out in chemistry. But what exactly is a pure substance? It's a material made of only one kind of particle, either single atoms or particles made of atoms bonded together. To understand this better, let's explore two examples, a gold bar and a beaker of water. If we can zoom in to observe the gold bar, we'd see only gold atoms packed closely all exactly the same. Now let's examine the water. Every drop contains identical particles, each made of two hydrogen atoms joined to one oxygen atom. Gold and water may seem different, but each one stays the same all throughout. The key is this, the composition never changes. That's what makes them pure. When scientists say that a substance has a fixed chemical composition, they mean something very specific. It means that every single sample of that substance, no matter where you find it, always contains the same kind of atoms in the same ratio. Take water for example. Pure water always has two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom. That's what H2O means, not two and a half, not three and one, always two to one, no more, no less. That's what we mean by fixed chemical composition. So remember, pure substances have the same kind of particles in the same ratio every time. So if both gold and water are pure substances, what makes them different? Well, pure substances come in two types, elements and compounds. Gold is an element, it's made of just one kind of atom. Water, on the other hand, is a compound made of different atoms chemically bonded in a fixed ratio. Let's dive in on the first type, elements. Elements are made of only one kind of atom. All the particles are exactly the same. Whether it's gold, oxygen, or argon, an element never mixes in atoms of a different kind. Each atom type has a unique number of protons. That's its atomic identity. And because every atom in an element is the same, the substance stays consistent all throughout. So what makes a gold atom gold or an oxygen atom oxygen? The answer is protons. The number of protons in the nucleus decides the element. Gold always has 79 protons. Oxygen always 8. Argon 18. That never changes. It's like a fingerprint. If the proton count changes, it's not the same element anymore. So in a pure substance like gold, every atom has the same number of protons, 79. When all the atoms are the same, you get a fixed composition. And that's what makes it a pure substance. Now let's talk compounds. Compounds are pure substances too, but with a twist. They are made of more than one kind of atom. And those atoms are always combined in a specific and changing ratio. Take salt, also called sodium chloride. Every unit is made of one sodium atom, 
and 1 chlorine atom. These atoms form a chemical bond locking together in that exact ratio. That ratio doesn't change. No matter where you get it, table salt is always NaCl, never Na2Cl or NaCl2. Now not all compounds are as simple as salt. Let's look at two more examples, carbon dioxide and ammonia. Carbon dioxide or CO2 is always made of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Ammonia or NH3 is always made of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. Even though they're made of different atoms, the rule stays the same. They're always bonded in a fixed ratio. And that's what makes them pure substances just like water, salt, and gold. Now, not everything around us has this fixed recipe. Let's clear things up by comparing pure substances to mixtures. A pure substance has particles that are all the same, whether it's a single element or a compound. A mixture, on the other hand, combines different particles and the ratio can change. Think of salt water. When salt dissolves in water, it doesn't disappear. It breaks apart into ions. Inside the mix, you'll find water molecules, sodium ions, and chloride ions all swimming around together. They're not held together by chemical bonds. It's just a physical mix. And because there's more than one kind of particle, salt water is a mixture, not a pure substance. Alright, now that you've seen what makes something a pure substance, let's put your eyes and your brain to the test. Can you tell which ones are truly pure and which are just clever mixtures in disguise? Let's test your science instincts. Are these materials pure substances or not? Take a look at each one. Just drink, air in a balloon, ethanol, medical oxygen, and vinegar. Think carefully then get ready for the answers. This lemon drink might look uniform, but it's actually a mixture. Sugar, water, flavoring, maybe even coloring, all blended, not chemically bonded. Air seems invisible and even, but it's a mix of gases, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and more. So nope, not a pure substance. Ethanol, on the other hand, is a compound. It's made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms, and every molecule has the same formula, C2H5OH. That fixed structure makes ethanol a pure substance. Medical oxygen is a pure substance too, and it's an element. It contains only oxygen molecules, nothing else. That's why it's safe for patients who need it. Now vinegar, it often tricks people. Some think it's a compound, but it's actually a mixture. Why? Because it's just water and acetic acid mixed together, not chemically bonded. Each part keeps its identity, so vinegar is a mixture. So remember, pure substances have only one kind of particle. Mixtures have different particles physically combined, not chemically bonded. Alright, quick recap. Pure substances, they're made of just one kind of particle, either an element or a compound. Their makeup, always the same, no surprises. Elements, they've got only one kind of atom, like gold or oxygen. Compounds, made of different atoms chemically bonded in a fixed ratio, like water or salt. Now mixtures, that's a totally different story. They're just physically combined and the ratio can change. Think salt water, lemon drink, or even the air you breathe. So next time you're holding something and thinking, is this pure? Just remember what you've learned today. Science is all about asking the right questions.
This is Learning with G. Stay tuned for the next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.